How to jailbreak your iPhone using an Android device running a custom recovery called TWRP or TWRP. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak your iPhone using your Android device running TWRP recovery or TWRP as we call it. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need an iPhone, then you need an Android device which is running TWRP recovery, and you need a way to connect these two phones together in my case i am using my redmi q20 pro running to up recovery and i also have an iphone 6s which is running ios 13.1.3 other than that you need the check rain executable file for linux for the architecture of your device how do you find the architecture of your android device well you boot into to up recovery then you go into advanced go into terminal and here you need to type in the command which is get prop space ro.product.cpu.abi and as you can see my architecture is arm64-v8a so i need to download the check rain for linux and the architecture will be arm64 once you have downloaded the check rain file you need to transfer it to your phone or you can just download it directly on your phone the website for check rain is linked in the description of the video now we will go into advanced and then we will go into file manager now you need to navigate to the folder where you placed the check rain file in case you downloaded the check rain file on your phone directly it will be in the sd card and then in download folder in my case i transferred it from my computer so it is in the root of sd card and here is the file we'll just select it and then click on chmod and the permission which we are looking for is 077 Seven. Once you have entered 0777, you need to click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard and then swipe to confirm. What did this was it provided or it gave executable permission to the check rain file. Next thing, we click on the home button and then we will go into advanced, go into terminal, back on terminal, we will type pwd. This is going to let us know where we are. So we are in the root directory right now and we need to navigate to sd card so we'll type cd space sd card and then press the enter key of course typing is an issue so cd space sd card press the enter key on the bottom right and we are now in sd card here if you do ls and then press the enter key it will show you all the files and this is the file which we are looking for check rain Next command which we need to execute is dot slash and then we will type in check rain c h e c k r a 1 n and then space then hyphen and then c and then we're going to press the enter key on the keyboard again and at this point you can see that it is looking for the iphone in dfu mode how do you boot your iphone into dfu mode the process is different for different models of iPhones. I have a link in the description of this video which shows you how to do it for your specific model of the iPhone. In my case, it is the 6S and here is how we do it for the iPhone 6S. The first thing we're going to do is put the USB Type-C end in the Redmi K20 Pro Type-C port and put the lightning end on the lightning port for the iPhone 6S. I do suggest that you keep your phone turned on when you have to boot your iOS device or iPhone into DFU mode. Next thing for the 6S, how do you boot it into DFU mode? Well, while the device is turned on, press and hold power button and the home button at the same time for around 10 seconds. You can of course count till 10. And once 10 seconds are done, you have to let go of the power button and keep the home button pressed. This will boot our iphone into dfu mode and bam there it is you can see that the jailbreak is now running like a boss and there it is you can see in twerp recovery on my redmi k20 pro it says all done and at this point you can disconnect the devices from each other now once you have disconnected the devices you can open your iphone and 
now you will see that I do have check rain in the building. If I click on that, it does give me the option to install Cydia. I can tap on that, install Cydia, and now it will download Cydia and install Cydia on my iPhone 6s, which means my 6s is now jail broken. And here it is, Cydia in the building, iPhone 6s, jail broken, using Android device running to a recovery. And of course, at the time of recording this video, this current build of check rain is a tethered jailbreak, which means every time you reboot your iPhone, you'll have to repeat this process to get access to jailbreak on your iPhone. So there it is peeps. That is how you jailbreak your iPhone using an Android device running to a recovery. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.